Tammy mentioned the sales part of it, and that's something that I think we considered at, at the start, um, but then it started happening. <laughs> and so I can say we've, you know, a third of our network roughly is deployed with cash recyclers, and that third that have the cash recyclers in the branches um, are performing about 5% better from a sales standpoint um, than the traditional locations. And I mean, that's, that's over a period of roughly six months now. So that number is real. Our tellers who are handling commercial transactions now say, when I am working at a center who has a cash recycler, it's like I'm on vacation at work because I can take the cash and put it on the machine. And gosh, now I have 20 or 30 seconds to actually have a conversation with the customer while it's processing the cash. So we'll have roughly uh, a little over a hundred centers on cash recyclers at the end of our rollout and and really just uh, in the initial findings we're migrating over a million transactions uh, from a consumer standpoint over to desk side and that's a million opportunities that we have not had annually uh, in the past with customers who are coming in and for us to be able to, to interact and engage with them and help them with their transaction quickly which is what they're asking for but then also bring some value to that transaction as well. Sure the machine's great but there's so much other stuff that gets brought into it as well. From a partnership standpoint, again, from the beginning, from the project management uh, team that we worked on to, to implement and, and do all of the rollouts to, to the service uh, and, and maintenance in, in the markets when we needed to call somebody. I mean, we always knew we could call our account management team at any time and say, you know, we, we need some help with something. Our partnership with, with Glory like, all the way through the process with every team that we have worked on um, has, has really been, like I said, yep. it, it's not been a vendor relationship. It's, it's been an incredible partnership with us. And for us, really focusing now that it's not about the machine, because the RBG 100 is so great for us that it, it really allows us to spend more time thinking about the customer interaction yep. and our sales experiences with them and, and how we can leverage the efficiencies of the machine in order to allow our folks to have more time to do uh, other, you know, other types of business with our customers. We knew that we could get the efficiency that we needed to, you know, to buy, to buy the machines. Um, but the engagement part of it, the customer engagement part of it, that's been kind of iterations and gone through iterations. And now the, the RBG 100 is one of the cornerstones in our sales process and our lobby management um, requirements that we have of our of our folks and in our philosophy.